Hi, Paige Hudson here, and we're going to walk through the lap booking guide with the Sassafras Twins. Uh, today we're going to look at the zoology guide. You may have received either the botany or anatomy or geology or one of our other lap booking through guides, but they'll be set up pretty much the same way. So we're going to go ahead and walk through this one. The first thing you will see is our copyright page. Our copyright policy allows you to make as many copies as you need for use within your immediate family. But if you're going to use this with a school or co-op, we ask that you contact us through support at elementalscience.com to get a license to do that. The next thing you'll see is a table of contents. The great thing about eBooks is that these links are clickable. So you can just open up your lap booking guide, uh, scroll down to the lesson you are on on the table of contents, click on it, and voila, you are there. But before we do that, let's take a quick look at the introduction. And in the introduction, I share a little bit about what a lap book is, if you're unfamiliar with what a lap book is, and a little bit more about what's included in the program. So this is great for you to understand a little bit more about the components that you'll see each week and how to use this program. So with these lap booking templates, you can do a mini book for each set of chapters, or you can do a full lap book. So if you're going to create one full lap book, there's a template for what the page would look like in a full lap book. This is a full size file folder instead of a half size one, which the mini lap books are for half size file folders. So your option is there. If you do do a full lap book, we have included a cover for that in the appendix of the lap booking guide. So that information is there for you. Switch back and the next thing you will see is the supply list. So these are for the demonstrations, uh, the activities that are scheduled each week. Uh, we do have an experiment kit for Sassfrass Science. It's uh, two novels at once. So you'll see the year one kit will work with lap booking through zoology and lap booking through anatomy. So our experiment kits work with both the lap booking guide and the activity guide because many of these demonstrations, in fact, almost all of them are the same demonstrations you'll find in the activity guide. So after the supply list, you will find the lesson pages. So the way the novel is set up is that you read a couple of chapters. Two chapters are in one location and you'll cover those chapters together in one mini lap book or on one sheet in your main lap book. So your first lesson will be for the Grasslands mini lap book and that'll start out with what you need to make your mini lap book, what chapters you're going to read as you go through, what you're gonna cover, just a little bit overview of what this mini lap book will look like. If you're going to do it as a single lap book page, uh, remember that's what it'll look like as a single page in a larger lap book. But for your mini lap book, it'll look like this. So basically you'll have a half size uh, either a piece of construction paper or a half size of a file folder and you'll put the vocab here and your habitat book here and the four animals here and there'll be one of these guides for every mini lap book that you're going to do whether it's the zoology or the anatomy or one of our other lap booking guides. The next thing you'll find is the lesson sheet so each mini lap book will have two lessons, one for each chapter. So you'll see your reading assignments. You've got chapter two from the novel for this first lesson, and then you'll have the additional library books you can get. Now you'll notice we start in the lap booking guide with chapter two. So you'll need to go ahead and read chapter one before you're doing any of the work out of the lap booking guide. So once you're ready to start with chapter two, you're ready to start with your lap books. The next thing you'll see is the notebooking sections, and this has your vocabulary and your mini book directions. So in the template section of the guide, which is comes after the lesson pages, then you'll have the appendix, then you'll have the templates that go with it. You'll have the templates for these vocabulary cards that are already filled in for you, and the vocabulary pocket, which you can see here. There's your vocabulary pocket and the cards already filled in. If you want to use blank cards, we do include a set of blank cards in the appendix for you. So that's what those look like. And then you'll have, it'll give you information about the mini books you need to fill out and the habitat books. So let's take a look at those two templates. So in the template section, you'll have a cover page for the mini lap book and then you will have the 
habitat for this particular one. You'll have a main, for zoology, it'll be the habitat. You'll have a tab book that will cover both the second and the third chapter. So it'll cover two chapters. In this one, it's a grassland habitat. And the templates for that will be first. And then you will have the mini books for each topic. So there will be one for each one the lion and the cheetah. And these lap booking templates are pretty much the same. Each one will have the phone just like the twins do. So your kids will be using their SIDAT app just in the same way that the twins use theirs in their mini lap book. So after you see the directions for the templates that your student is gonna fill out, or you may have them dictate to you and you write down what it is, whatever they're capable of writing. Uh, after that, you will have the scientific demonstration. So demonstrations are parent-led and student-observed. So you're going to follow the procedure and you're going to explain to your students uh, what's going on, what they're seeing. So that's a simple lesson you will read. You'll do your mini books and then you'll do some kind of demonstration throughout the week. And then you'll have the second lesson will be basically the repeat of the same thing. Uh, the only difference is it'll have you put the cover on and it'll be different topics that you're covering in a different demonstration obviously but the setup of the lesson will be the same and then after your two lessons you will have uh, possible schedules. So for the lap booking guide we don't have two day and a five day schedule laid out like we do in the activity guide for this. We're just looking at four days a week. If you want to do science only two days a week I suggest that you combine day one with day three and then day two with day four, and that'll give you science two days a week. So just a simple schedule for you to fill out, and then we go to the next mini book. So that's pretty much how this guide is set up. We do have some extra materials for you in the appendix. Let me flip to that real quick. Well, that's the last lesson. In the appendix, we have uh, the cover page for a full lap book. We have an optional lab report if you have an older student and you want to include them. We have an optional book narration if you read an extra library book and you want to add that, you can do that. Then we also have any uh, templates you'll need for projects are in the appendix of the guide. So you can see we have lots of templates in here for you to use and then these blank vocabulary cards which I showed you before. And then after that, you'll have a zoology glossary. If you are using the blank template cards, you can have your student copy off of those. And then you'll have the templates for the lap booking guides. So there you have it, a quick tour through the lap booking guide, lap booking through zoology. And you, as you can see, it's a simple walkthrough, a companion to as you go through your journey with the Sassafras twins in the novel. And if you wanna see what a week like this looks like, I will link to a video here of us explaining what our lap book looks like. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy your journey with the Sassafras twins.